Hey foodies, welcome and welcome back to Cooking with Kiana. In today's recipe, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this amazing holiday honey ham. This pineapple brown sugar honey ham is super simple to make. That ham is gonna be nice and tender and moist. Be ready to impress the whole family on Thanksgiving with this holiday ham recipe. But before I begin, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the recipe. Now let's get started. So here are all the ingredients that you're gonna be needing for this recipe. I will also have the ingredients listed in the description box below. So let's start off with the ingredients for the glaze. You're going to need 3 fourths of a cup of orange juice, one cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of allspice, and one fourth teaspoon of ginger. Followed by one tablespoon of lemon juice, one fourth cup of cherry juice, and 3 fourths of a cup of pineapple juice. Then you're gonna need another cup of brown sugar, a half a teaspoon of allspice, and a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and one teaspoon of black pepper, and just a tablespoon of yellow mustard. And we're just gonna be packing this onto our ham. It's gonna give our ham additional flavor, and the ham is gonna be nice and caramelized. Okay, so this is the ham that I'm gonna be using today. As you can see, it's just your average pre-baked bone in ham. So I'm just gonna start off by cutting some slits along the whole entire ham. This is to help ensure that your ham will be nice and juicy. What's gonna happen is once I pour in that glaze, all that glaze is gonna seep down into the ham while it bakes. Now when you're scoring your ham, you wanna make sure you go in deep enough but not too deep. Okay, you wanna at least make sure you go in about an inch. But you don't want it to be so deep to the point where you can just see the cuts. Okay, so after I'm done going one side, I'm going to, of course, go across the other way. Like I said, I want to make sure that glaze is going to be able to really penetrate that ham. So now I'm going to add in about one to two tablespoons of mustard. You don't need a lot of mustard. You just need enough to fully coat your ham. Now this mustard is going to act like a binding agent. That's going to help everything stick together. So don't worry about the mustard. You're not going to taste it. So now take your allspice, ground cloves, and black pepper. Go ahead and add that to your cup of brown sugar. And just stir that all together until that is well combined. Now go ahead and pack that brown sugar into your ham until your ham is fully coated and all you see is the brown sugar. So you want to make sure you use all of the brown sugar. When you are done, it should look a little bit something like this. Now you're going to put some foil on this, pop this in the fridge for at least three hours. All right, now once that is done marinating in the refrigerator, you're going to go ahead and take your slices of pineapple from your pineapple juice and go ahead and add that onto your ham and you're gonna add on your cherries and make sure you stick that in with a toothpick so it does not fall. So now that we are done preparing our ham, let's move on to our pineapple brown sugar honey glaze. So go ahead and heat up a half a stick of butter on medium heat, let that melt. Then you're gonna go ahead and add in your cup of brown sugar. Give that a good stir until that fully dissolves. At this point, you can go ahead and add in a tablespoon of cornstarch if you want your sauce to be thicker. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in a half a cup of honey and then we're just going to go ahead and add in our spices of cinnamon, ginger, allspice, and ground cloves. Go ahead and stir everything until it is well mixed. Now you're going to go in with your orange juice, your pineapple juice, and your cherry juice. Remember, correct the measurements will be listed in the description box below. Then lastly, you're going to add in a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Go ahead and stir that together. Let that sauce thicken a little bit. Don't worry if it's not completely thickened. It is going to thicken in the oven. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take our glaze and transfer that into the bottom of our pan. Now we're just going to go ahead and pop this in the oven on 350 for about two hours making sure you baste it every 20 minutes to help ensure that you have a juicy, flavorful ham. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy holiday ham recipe. The full recipe will be listed in the description box below. So you guys can make this at home, make this for Thanksgiving. I'm telling you, your whole family will be amazed. If you guys enjoyed this recipe, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think of the recipe. And if you tried it, let me know how it came out. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next video.